Hey, good afternoon. Hi, I'm Robert Merritt. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I've got my two uh, protectors here protecting me today. So uh, you guys do not try to assail me in any way because this one here, her name is Chloe, and she will lick you to death. That one up there will try to climb on you and uh, lick you to death as well. Very deadly dogs. Um, that's all I got to say, man. Just got to watch out for them. Anyway. I want to talk to you guys about some seriousness. If you guys are ever, ever uh, wanting to come to Korea and you are DOD, U.S. military, um, contractor for the Department of Defense or whatever, or coming over here for vacation and have access to bases, which means you might have a military ID card, a dependent card of some sort for the U.S. federal government. Um, this video is a really good video. It's a seven minute video. And uh, I want you guys to check it out. Uh, it talks about Camp Humphreys and the new upgrade they've done, the updates that they've done to this whole entire facility. And I'm gonna, it's right here as you see it, it's a seven minute, 21 second video. This looks just a like bit. a typical American street and a typical American. The volume. Except that people are in military uniforms. What you are seeing is in fact a neighborhood in Korea. The U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys in Pyeongtaek, America's largest overseas military base, which is home to some 25,000 people. And will grow. We had a rare chance to film inside the base and see how American troops have created a home away from home. Fueling properly is essential for just about everything. So the first place we visited was the military food court, which had a variety of at the commissary at the fast food. The PS. It's actually inside the, the PX outside was opened in November 2017, and uh, it offers the, our customers a taste of home. You know, we we go by a motto called "Making Humphreys Home," and that's what we try to do every day in this facility is to try and give our customers that little taste of home that they that they crave. Eight brands inside the facility, plus we have the main store and about 70 concession operations. It's around 3,400, 3,400 customers a day. I mean, our customers, our customers really like it. Not to say that they don't go downtown and enjoy a delicious meal in, in, in the streets of Korea, but uh, it's good to have this little bit of taste of home that they know they can come back to. You come onto this site, you come up My to favorite? just type in inside Kemp oh. Humphrey, <laughs> and you will find this. And it's a great video. I'm going to like it. And I am also exactly. going to share it as soon as I get done uh, with this video. I'm sharing it, putting it on my soldier level. Which I think brand do you like? Right there. So we just uh, determine it's uh, what soldiers love it. So then we just put the concept. Oh. So you just mentioned the list with the survey and exactly, like wow. exactly. How long have you been here in Korea? I literally just got here last week. Last week. I went to the building, that's about it. The plaza thing right there. And I went to Osun like last weekend too, so it was fun. This is your first time in Korea? Yes. Okay. So, how do you like the food part here? Oh, it's pretty good. Pretty good? I like uh, Charlie's. Does it taste similar? Does it taste better? Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your stay here. I will. Thank you. <laughs> I've been here for about seven days, and I, I know this place very well now. <laughs> um, in the US, so I've been to Leonardwood. Um, Pensacola, it's a Navy base. This one's really big. Like, I mean, they, they're more concentrated on, like, I guess you would say MWR stuff, because, you know, I guess we're overseas, and there's not, you know, more, trying to make it more American for, like, you know, people who just got here and they're getting yeah. adjusted to new things. So they got, like, water parks here and stuff like that. I want to go see. So, I mean, other bases don't have it because, you know, you just go out. So, what I want to tell you is, I know the video's long, seven minutes. It talks about Camp Humphreys here in Pyeongchuk, South Korea. When I say here, that means I'm actually living here in Pyeongchuk, South Korea. I'm in a house off base about 10, 15 minutes away. And I tell you, it's a great facility. Camp Humphreys is a, the biggest uh, U.S. military facility off the American continent, off, the, off of American soil. It's including, uh, uh, it, it's the biggest one that we have off the American soil. Now, there are some larger facilities and bases in the United States, but I'm talking about the ones in Italy, Germany, France, Belgium, um, even here in Korea. Um, we just are closing down other bases and bringing people, you know, moving them to 
areas. So Camp Humphreys, as they said, is 25,000 people. Could it be growing? It could be growing, yes. Um, and we do have a lot of soldiers that really enjoy this place. We're trying to make Camp Humphreys a, an assignment of choice. The United States Army is um, and the DOD are trying to make Camp Humphreys the assignment of choice for everybody because we're trying to bring people here to look at the culture, to enjoy what Korea has to offer. And they don't just have military assignment. You come here for your military assignment, you bring your family or by yourself. We'd love to have the families come over. We have ample room. We have we are building three more towers today as we speak. If I drove, drove on to Camp Humphreys today and did a video, you will see three brand new housing towers being built for families. Families. And these towers hold a lot of families. They're tall, 20 stories, 16, 20 stories tall, something like that. Uh, and so, I mean, we want people to come. So let's check this out I mean, even further. So this is Arby's, which I've never tried before. Yeah. It smells just so good. Oh, it's huge. So many layers of ham. So these ladies are enjoying their lunch from Barbie's. And we have it here. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? So, and we were oh, Texas Roadhouse. A popular awesome. Steak restaurant. Really good place Texas to eat at. Roadhouse there. All of our managers in this location, they went to one of our branches in the U.S. And they did a few months of training there. So, a big part of our decor is our murals that we have on the wall. Um, these these murals are specifically, some of them are specifically for um, Kappa. We have our animals <laughs> on the wall yeah. as well. So, it makes you feel like you're in Texas. Um, we actually have a few additional items here. A few extra burgers and sandwiches because we know that's something that's big with the soldiers. What kind of feedback do you receive from the uh, That it feels like home. Which is, like yeah, that's what we wanted. Uh, they feel like they're just going to their local Texas warehouse. We get a lot of people that come in and they're FaceTiming or Skyping their family who's at a Texas warehouse in the U.S. So they feel like they're there having dinner with their family, which is cool. The exchange so Texas is a good hit. Mall that offers a variety Glad to get of you guys to look at uh, Austin Golf Course here on base. The this top of the line. Oh, man. Yes, it is. It's a department store. We sell everything from clothing and shoes to camping, power zone, hardware, major appliances, outdoor living, everything. They don't have to go outside if they don't want to go outside. If you're a civilian and you're young, of everything here. Only so of age, military age, want to think about coming to the military. Because it's considered a duty for and the Actually, you can't even come in that, if you're not an authorized Think shop. about Korea. This is an awesome place for you guys Except to check you. out. You guys are <laughs> huge. Huge. <laughs> huge place. Bring your family. That's the one thing I do want to preach. So I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, of course, you know, being away from our family, we do miss our family, our kids. You know, I have two children that are still back in the States. However, the good thing about Camp Humphreys is that they do offer command sponsorship. So for those people that, you know, may feel like they want their family here with them, that opportunity. Command sponsorship, guys. That's what um, it's the called. other good thing is that, yes, Bring your family. the installation is huge. And we have about 90 new facilities that just opened up. So with those facilities, it definitely gives you that impression that you are still back in the United States. Um, it's welcoming to us being here. And next, we had a relaxing time this is the on golf guided course. golf cart tour of the vast green 18-hole riverbed golf course. So, we're going to start over here. Uh, as people play, uh, they're going to come through here. This is our snack bar. Right here as they make the turn, we're going to number 10. So Ken Humphreys is trying to get this to be a PGA qualified golf course. And I think they're right on track to get all that qualified, all that complete. All right. There's a beautiful 48 style driving range. You guys want to hit a driver? Perfect. There's a lot of nature here, too. You've got pheasants and uh, herons and blue herons. Hey. So you can get away from base. Even though you're here, you don't feel like you're on base. Mm. Yeah. So 